Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Math City with Miss G. Today we are going to talk about degree and radian measure conversion. So first thing we are going to convert from degrees to radians and we will be using this formula. So number of degree times pi over 180 degrees. Let us apply that in number one problem. So 285 degrees, I am going to write this as a fraction over one and multiply this with the formula pi over 180 degrees. So with this, it will the, we, will, we can cancel the degree on the numerator and the denominator, then multiply straight across, which will be 285 pi over one times 80 is 180. And then we are going to simplify this, 285 divided by 180, that should be equal to 19 over 12 pi radians. Let's try this again. So the first thing we need to do is write the given as a fraction and then multiply the given with pi over 180 degrees. We're going to cancel the degree symbol and multiply straight across. So that would be negative 15 pi over 180. Simplifying negative 15 over 180, that would be 1 over 12 pi. Or we can write our answer as pi over 12 radians. Okay, let us try another problem. Let's try 420 degrees, converting these two radians. That would be, uh, first we change it into a fraction, times pi over 180 degrees. We cancel the degrees symbol, and then that will leave us with 420 pi over 180. And we simplify 420 divided by 180, that would be 7 over 3 pi radians. Let's try it one more time. We're going to change 45 degrees into a fraction and then multiply that with pi over 180, which will be equal to, oh, cancel the degree first, and then multiply straight across, which would be 45 pi over 180. Simplifying the fraction 45 over 180, that will be 1 fourth pi, and writing our final answer, we can do pi over four radians. Okay, so how about converting from radians to degrees? So there is a formula that we are going to be using and it is given the number of radians, we're gonna multiply it to the inverse of the formula that we just used earlier. And that is 180, divided by pi, 180 degrees divided by pi. Let's do that. Okay, so given number one, we are going to multiply this, 35 pi over 18 with 180 degrees over pi. First, we are going to cancel the pi, and then we are going to multiply straight across or simplify. Okay, so 35 times, 180 over 18. And so if we are going to put this in our calculator, okay, the number, and then we simplify that our calculator should give us 350 degrees. Okay, so let's try this again. Number two, we are multiply the given with pi 180 degrees over pi. We're going to cancel the pi symbol in the numerator and denominator. And so this will give us with negative three 
times 180 over 2. And using our calculator, or we can like simplify 2 as we go. So if you are going to um, divide 180 by 2, but you can do that. So cancel out the 1. And so, um, I mean, the 2, that would be, that would leave us a 90 on the top and multiplying 90 with negative 3. That would be negative 270 degrees. Let's try this one more time. Okay, so uh, given pi over 4, we're going to multiply these by um, 180 over pi, cross multiply or mul cancel out the pi, and so that will leave us with 180 on the, t on the numerator and then a 4 in the denominator. So 180 divided by 4, that would be 45 degrees. All right, one last time. We're going to change this number 5 radians into degrees. So multiply the given with 180 over pi. Cancel out the pi. And then multiply across 5 times 180 over 3. So um, when we multiply 5 times uh, 180, that would give us 900. And then we divide it by 3, that would be 300 degrees. Okay, if you find value in this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.